What's up there YouTube? Um, as you can see we're we got a, a nice night out. It's Saturday night, uh, January the 19th and uh, it's gonna get cold tonight, no doubt about it. It's gonna drop down into the, the 30s. So um, we're trying, it's right about, uh, it's just a little bit after eight and uh, I just literally brought everything outside. I haven't really even set up anything. The only thing I did do was just put the mount down on, on the little white dots that I covered in the, the first earlier videos um, and, uh, and everything. So um, that's really the only thing I've done. I haven't even tightened up the base of it yet. Um, I, I did just stick the rings in the top of it and go ahead and lock those down because if I don't do it, I'll forget. And, uh, and really that's all we've done yet but we're going to go in and get everything kind of set up and uh, and do all that and uh, I'm going to pan you around here you guys can see i got all my goodies out here we got the scope out uh, we got the bag of all the other stuff and we got the counterweight sitting over there so you can see it's just very um, just throw the stuff out here um, I'm thinking I'm going to do probably a little time elapse video um, while I do the setup so you guys can kind of see um, you know what I do to, as far as getting the setup. This is kind of the first run I've done since I've really gotten all my stuff kind of together and I'm going to do a little test of um, kind of a pre-run if you will um, on getting everything set up. So um, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to redo the video and it's going to be in time lapse so you can see me and I am dressed to the to the hill here. I've got on a jacket, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, uh, you know, heavy cotton pants with sweatpants underneath, two pairs of socks. Is this going to get cold tonight? I've got on my, of course it wouldn't be the same, the old uh, man cave astronomy without the the yellow uh, visor on, but I've got an ACDC uh, beanie on underneath that. So anyway, if you see me, I may look a little funny, but don't worry, it's still me. All right, as you can see, we've got the scope all nice and set up and balanced and polar aligned. I just did a quick two-star easy alignment tonight, um, and it was I was a little off on the North Star. It's been a while since I've done it, so uh, maybe I need to go back and watch my own videos. But uh, but anyway, you can see we got we got the scope set up and pointed. Um, went right to uh, um, Sirius, and then we went to Caporal and. Uh, did the, the two star alignment on those two and um, and by the time I got all that done um, it's getting actually it's kind of starting to cloud over uh, one cool thing I did see was I seen a jet fly right through my uh, my polar finder while I was trying to align the Polaris that was pretty freaky but uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not but anyway there's the moon um, it's, I got too much light out here um, to really get a to get a good shot, but it's starting to try to cloud up a little bit um, just because of the, the weather. Um, right now, I'm pointed up at at Capilla, and you can't see anything in the sky. So, anyway, um, we just figured I'd show y'all a little quick video on that. Um, so far, everything's be doing pretty good. Um, I've got my uh, try to get where you can see it there you go um i've got my uh my baiter 17 millimeter um eyepiece in without the nose piece on it so basically it's a 21.8 millimeter two inch eyepiece right now um i took the nose piece off just to get the alignment done because it gives a nice wide field of view um so now that i'm aligned i'm going to start slewing around and checking some things out and uh and seeing what what some of it looks like before my my uh, corrector plate fogs up so um i'll be back with you here in just a minute let me just see if you can get a look through 
No, uh, a little glimpse. There you go. Our star. That's the star. Uh, Kappa. Kappa. Or how are you pronounce? C A P L L E. I think. Anyway, that's what it looks like. All right, be back with you here in just a moment. All right, we're back here real quick. Uh, I just flew to, uh, from uh, Kapala or whatever it is to uh, to Moon, and I swear y'all, I didn't do anything. And uh, you can see that's uh, you can see the hot the haze. Um, my corrector is probably already starting to. Uh, Corrector's probably already starting to fog a little bit, and my eyepiece probably some. Some of that is probably residual cloud. And I'm sorry if I'm blinding y'all. Um, there you go. But anyway, um, she did. She went right to. Uh... All right, folks. This right here is what it's all about. This is what we've been striving for, running for, going for. I have finally. The rock has come to astronomy, so to speak. I'd like to whoop down on that Rudy Pook handy ass as far as taking pictures. All right, as you see here, we've got the telescope set up. We've got our uh, Bader Hiberian eyepiece put in there. We are coupled up to the Sony Nexum 5R that we are streaming. Yes, that's right, with the Fudox coupler. It's a nice good picture of the moon you can see right there on the camera. And guess what? We are now wirelessly sending that to ching right down there to our handy dandy tablet. That's right. And you know what the best part about this is? Look here. Uh oh. Oh, looky there. I just snapped a picture of that. Didn't even have to touch the telescope. Didn't even have to do nothing right there. What do you think about that right there? That's all right. Come on, rubber ducky. That is awesome. That is just awesome. So, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell y'all. This is what it's been all about right here is camera sitting over there, tablet sitting all the way over there. The cord you see coming out of the side, that does not go to the telescope. That goes right on down over here because I have that plugged in to the outlet because the tablet's charging along with my cell phone. And I'm going to tell you all what, I about crap my pants when I put all this together and focused in and I can see the moon. And I had to get to go get the tablet. Uh, the SkyFi is on its way. I got an email yesterday. It is in the mail. Um, so we will wirelessly be controlling the telescope. And now we are wirelessly taking pictures through it with the Sony Nexum 5R. Thank you, Sony. So the only other thing I need right now is about five more beers, a celebration party, um, and let's see here, what else, another million dollars, um, because that's about what I spent on all this junk, And uh, but I'm telling you, it paid off, because it is working, I'm telling you, it just, this crappy Canon just can't show you guys the picture like what I see. I mean, it is just absolutely phenomenal and it is just unreal this is what i've been striving for and it's nothing more than just a touch of a tablet and i've got a picture of whatever i can see um you know and i'm, I'm only at at, at 21.8 millimeter eyepiece um and you know I, i'm getting ready to, to start playing with that and seeing what kind of focus i can get with some of the higher magnifications um you know i'm telling you folks i'm just i'm tickled to death i hope you guys are I hope this is good news for y'all because um, I mean I'm just I'm ecstatic right now um, I just can't believe it I snapped a picture of the moon and it was on my phone and it killed my phone by the way um, streaming all the data across it and I texted it took the picture straight off the straight out of the telescope put it right to a text message sent it to my brother and my parents and said first photo through the telescope with the Nexum 5R camera. Yeehaw. Hell yeah, it works. So um just absolutely amazing. Um 
just amazing just can't I can't say enough right now I'm just speechless um you know that's seven hundred and sixty something dollars worth of camera focusers adapters yada yada and it works it works it's worth every damn penny of it I swear it is just this is this is just awesome just awesome so anyway I'm gonna get off this and I'm gonna have some fun for a change and uh, take some pictures and I'm gonna review um, tomorrow I'll do a little quick review on on some of the pictures that I got tonight I'm gonna get off the moon and go swing around to some nebulas and some stars and just try to try to get all around check out of how everything does um, I'm sure the the memory card of the battery in this little piece of crap cannon is getting ready to die so uh, so that's probably gonna be it for me tonight I'm gonna be out here probably until the wee hours in the morning playing and piddling around um, so this is man cave astronomy signing off all right just to give you all a recap on the packed everything in tonight um, still having a issue with the dew of course I've got a dew shield and I've got heater bands for the the two inch eyepieces and everything else I still do not have a dew controller um, still on back order um, which I was told that it was going to be in and um, along with the eight millimeter uh, Bader Hiberian eyepiece um, which I still haven't heard about so I'm pretty much pissed and disgusted about that but anyway um, outside of that I got that little whine and, and cry out of the way um, what did we learn tonight the great thing is um, the scope performed absolutely spot on um, just just amazing um, nice good clear images um, focusing you know the image of course shifted around a lot while trying to to get the the focuser in where I tighten up the focuser um, to um, take up a lot of the play and the slop in it um, but you know that's just kind of one of those things damned if you do and damned if you don't um, you know to me I would rather take a few minutes to, to focus something rather than you know have my my collimation um, out of a line so you know because it doesn't really matter how good you focus it if your collimation is not in it's not going to be in focus anyway so you know it's just kind of one of those deals and um but still real happy with the the results um i did notice a a pretty pretty good difference in in focusing um as far as having the collimation done um things were were really quick and simple to get into focus and once i got things into focus good pinpoint stars um i could see a lot of more um a lot more background stars um with and, and not just kind of blurs and and sometimes i don't even know that i would have even seen um you know some of those background stars but everything was pretty pretty good pinpoint um the the eyepieces are okay um you know, I'm, I'm not going to knock on them for what I paid for them for 120 bucks. Um, you know, and then by the time you put the two rings on there, it's about 150 dollars. That's still pretty pretty half price for for meat or or some of the 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 other you know wider field of view eyepieces and different stuff. But you know, for for my case, they worked out really good. Um, especially for doing projection uh, photography through the eyepiece um, you know you just you can't beat that um, the quick lock worked out really well um, it was you know nice and simple to just swap in and out um, I did notice at one time I can see where I adapted um, basically I had to neck down the, the 54 millimeter uh, draw tube down to a 40 uh, two or T2 um, size and then open it back up to a 43 millimeter um, or a SCT um, I had to have the the ring in there um, to adapt the the quick lock to the the focuser tube at one time using just the 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 two inch um, eyepiece without the first set of elements um, I did notice that 
I could see the just the you know that inner ring where I had to neck it down and then open it back up. Um, so hopefully one day someone will make a 54 millimeter to SCT two inch thread adapter um, to where I can I can eliminate that. But for time being, um, when if you're using the eyepiece. Um, with the the front set of elements, the inch and a quarter set set of elements, no big deal. You don't see it, um, so um, it wasn't an issue for the camera, which that was kind of the main purpose of the eyepiece. Um, was doing projection fo uh, projection astrophotography through it, um, and I'm still kind of kind of on the high of buying the Sony Nexum 5 R and putting it in the scope I did that for the first time tonight and y'all I about crapped my pants the first time I, I focused that thing in on the moon and it was just a beautiful picture that I took just nothing more than just a simple snapshot of the moon um you know didn't didn't spend 20 minutes focusing and messing around just just dialed it in on the focuser it took just just a few seconds to do Reached over on the touchpad, clicked the the picture button, snapped a picture of it, and um, you know, got got a couple good pictures of it. Um, went right to the to the tablet. Um, I'm gonna take those pictures and put them in the the processing software that I got a little bit. And I'm gonna play around with it. Um, I don't think it's gonna need much. Um, and then I was slewed <clears throat> to. Uh, to Jupiter and looked at Jupiter I could see five moons um, through the camera with with Jupiter and some of the video was was pretty you know pretty awful uh, I'll be right honest with you it looks really bad um, so I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit and uh, and see what I can do as far as cleaning it up um, but I did get a really good um, almost four minute video so you figure 10 frames per second over four minutes you know that's a good lengthy video um, I'm gonna I got that video I can, I can run it through Registax and start playing with Registax a little bit and see what kind of what kind of image I come up with uh, through Registax and, uh, and kind of start